Good morning, Park Hill. Today is April 14th, and if you don't know me, my name is Isabella. I am a high school student, and I serve in the hospitality ministry at Park Hill. Before we begin reading, I'm going to say a little prayer. <laughs> oh God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light. Grant that we, who have been raised with him, may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be dominion and praise forever and ever. Amen. I am now going to begin reading Acts 2, verses 36 through 41. Peter said to the multitude, Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, so every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he has testified with many other arguments, and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized. And that day about three thousand persons were added. Psalm 33, verses 18 through 22. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who wait upon his love to pluck their lives from death, and to feed them in the time of famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him, for in his holy name we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have put our trust in you. God invites us to be a part of his family. As followers of Jesus, we should show others the light of Christ. The Holy Spirit is who helps us do that. And I think it's so cool that in this Bible passage, people were receiving the Holy Spirit for the first time. It was something cool to history. God is what brings all of us together. We can rely on the Holy Spirit to be our help and our shield. Quoting from Psalm 33, we can rejoice in Him and trust in Him. That is all for today, and I pray that the Lord will bless you and that you will have a wonderful day.